This is an evolution that began over 50 years ago. We set out on a mission to provide energy. The challenges were many. With a worthy team of people, we confronted the challenges and realized positive results. Most of our daily activities center on energy use. GPA is taking steps to improve its energy services to support the technology we use in our work and in our homes. In addition, GPA has been moving forward with increasing sustainable renewable energy production as part of its energy portfolio. The ESS or energy storage system is a system that can store energy. Most energy storage systems are basically huge batteries. We simply connect the batteries to the GPA grid. When grid scale batteries are deployed, they provide capabilities through applications such as peak shifting. This offsets the need for additional conventional base load generation to serve peak loads by charging the battery during off-peak times and discharging during peak times. Using renewable energy or more efficient conventional generators to charge batteries reduces fuel costs and lowers emissions. Grid scale batteries can also stabilize intermittent renewable power when used in conjunction with solar or wind farms. The batteries themselves are similar to the batteries that are in your cellular phone. The batteries used in our storage systems are lithium ion batteries. The batteries are built up into modules, which are built up into racks that are similar to a data center. These racks are then placed in a weatherproof enclosure or building. GPA's ESS project was fully operational as of March 1, 2021. The utility scale battery energy storage systems have two sites. The Hagatnya ESS is 24 megawatts and 6 megawatt hours in size. This facility will help alleviate system frequency issues and eliminate a majority of the short outages customers typically experience whenever a generator trips offline. The Talafofo ESS is 16 megawatts and 16 megawatt hours in size. This ESS will mitigate the intermittency of renewable power generated from the Dandan Solar photovoltaic farm. Think about this, if the amount of energy stored in one shipping container sized battery could be 4 megawatts for one hour, 4 megawatts of energy could power about 2,800 homes for an hour. This is based on an average residential consumption of 1.4 kilowatts per hour. At the moment, Guam's island-wide power grid has 52 megawatts of renewable energy connected to the grid. This includes the 26 megawatt solar farm in Dandan and 26 megawatt of solar and wind net metering customers. GPA's energy storage systems work together to smooth out the fluctuating solar output and monitor the frequency reacting accordingly to stabilize the island-wide grid system. This helps to mitigate the threat of a blackout. An additional 120 megawatts of solar photovoltaics will be commissioned within the next three years. These projects incorporate energy storage to manage intermittency and also provide for some energy shifting. These projects are a result of GPA's integrated resource planning, which evaluates future resource requirements to meet future growth, lower costs, and meet other strategic goals. GPA's energy storage project is one of many projects GPA is doing to improve its system. GPA is on track to achieve 50% renewables by 2030 as we head towards the mandated 100% renewable energy by 2045. The commissioning of the new Ukudu power plant will replace the older and less efficient generating units and provide the additional grid support to increase renewable energy on our system. This will significantly add to Guam's energy sustainability improve power reliability, and increase customer satisfaction.